Hi Kiwi, I'm in a Hollow Knight mood today, so I am going to do some solo bosses. And I'm probably going to just stick to Ascended fights and maybe some Attuned if I feel in the mood. Like, well, or rather, uh, Radiant fights. I'm going to try this one on Radiant and see how it goes. I'll do it once, and if I'm not feeling it, then I'll just move along. <laughs> Moving along. I didn't need to walk into that. Okay. Um, what bosses can I confidently no damage? Hornet? Yeah, we can do Hornet. Let's do this. Definitely do the first phase of Hornet, no damage. She's pretty much a walk and spam uh, attack, and then dash every now and again at most. I mean, walking into her is not the optimal strategy, but reasonably confident I can beat her. I guess I should remember to use my soul attacks. They do a fair bit of damage to her as well. Especially if I can get the double hit. It would be better if I had Shaman Stone, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm reasonably confident I can get the Radiant fight as long as I don't get too cocky. As long as she's staying in the corner, I can get a lot of free hits on her. I wasn't expecting her to use that a second time. If you can stagger her in the corner, there's really not much she can do to you at all. She should be almost beat now. Alright. Well, I can just prove that I can no damage her now. The real question is, can I do no damage? Can I do the no damage challenge when she is in her radiant form? It's just because I do it once doesn't mean I can do it again. I very much have learned that. Perfect. Three hits. Definitely could have hit her there, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough space to dodge. I chose to use the uh, spell expecting her to do her uh, AoE whip attack, and so I was locked in an animation, couldn't get away fast enough. Maybe, actually, I was able to dash, so I guess if I had dashed to the right, I probably would have survived, but it's fine. This one. Yeah. I've been very much enjoying playing Cassette Beast again, but I, I needed to take a break because I've played a whole lot of it recently. And I'm just kind of in the mood for a, a slight... Oh wow, that barely touched me. Okay. I've just been in the mood for something a little bit different, so figured I'd uh, scratch the itch of completionism with Hollow Knight. I feel like at some point I will have this entire pantheon. I, I guess this isn't a pantheon. I don't know what to call this room, actually. All the solo boss. I've just been referring to them as the solo boss room, honestly. Which is more or less what it is. Oh, ah, man, my timing is off on her. I should not be having this much struggle to take no damage. I mean, th the nature of no damage challenges is they are difficult because, I mean, a single mess up and you lose. Um, but it is what it is. I, I have every confidence that I will get it eventually, especially since I barely missed it on the first attempt. Oh, hold on, I have a cat. Nope, no cats on the desk while I'm recording. Oh, you're already tangled in the wires. Okay, there we go. Cat be gone. She was on my lap, and I figured I could get away with recording with her, but it seems she doesn't like me rambling while uh, she's trying to nap. Unlike you, who <laughs> demand, uh, who who very much prefers it that way. Yeah. Um. All right. I'll try one more time, and then I'll just do the other. I'll do Hornet too. 
I don't want to stick on one boss for too, too long, because it's kind of boring to just see the same things done over and over again. If you're not playing it, I guess. I don't mind doing it over and over again. I mean, I've used to play, I've played so much... I've played so much RuneScape that uh, certainly doing repetitive tasks over and over again is nothing new to me or unpleasant by any metric, but it's fine. I think it's a different statue. Yeah, it must be. It looks like she's in a more of an action pose in that one. We'll probably just do the first two phases of her on this one. Or first two versions of her, rather. The thing about, uh, being allowed to take damage is I have no fears. For better or for worst. So let's save our soul. We'll use it in the next fight. Alright, so that was Hornet 1. Now for Hornet 2. Or, sorry. That was a tune, now for Ascended. Her attacks definitely come out faster, but nothing too crazy. And even if she does 2 damage, she's not threatening enough to... I mean, I guess it does depend on me uh, not messing up, but... We'll take the heal here just to play it safe. It probably makes sense to practice all these boss on, bosses on Ascended since the Pantheon of Hollow Knight seems to very much require perfection. <laughs> Actually, no, it very much does not, but it would be better to, especially the later bosses, maybe I should just practice the later bosses because they arguably matter a lot more. Oops. I did the thing where I touched her head again. Okay, I take it back. I need to play a little bit more safe than I have been. Um, it's still really not that difficult to fight, but if I'm going to play like an idiot, then I'm going to get punished like an idiot. I wonder if you can dream nail there since I can't uh, stand her nail, but... I didn't have the soul. I was going to try and heal. Oops. Alright, that was just my... Playing poorly. I'm going to take the heal here, or not. My heal didn't go off for some reason. Whoop! Alright. Well, we can heal here at least. I'm gonna try for a third one, it's probably too greedy, but we almost got away with it, I guess. Soul, please. Thank you. Whoop! Ah, I dashed. I should have dashed forward instead of behind her. Alright, one more try. I think I, what I need to do is I need to do what I've been doing with the harder bosses. I just need to play a little slower. There, there's no reason I can't do this. Oh. Too slow. My reaction time seems to be a little bit too slow for her today. Could probably have healed there. I was far enough away. Alright, we'll heal here then. Slow down a little bit just so I can read her attack a bit better. Huh, I would have been fine if I had just not stood still. That one almost hit me. It's interesting, that, that parry is basically the same thing the Hollow Knight does. Okay, I should be able to heal here. But unless I get a second heal, I'm not going to be in a great spot. Or, I won't be free from death. Alright, now I'm free from death. Whoop. And I dashed the wrong way. Can't heal enough to be invulnerable to death, but... Take a hit here. Would you please not? Oop! Oop! I dumped, I jumped into the uh, spikes. Darn it. Alright. <sighs> this is not a boss that I... I'm not going to leave this boss until I beat it, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. I just have to play smarter, safer, better, stronger, whatever. There we go. See? That was a little bit better. It's her first time doing that, and so I got punished, I guess. I'll we'll get some spell, da spell damage in. Uh, I don't know why I expected that I had enough time to death to dive there, but it's fine. I hesitated on the heal, so I'm only getting one. I actually could have gotten the second one, but it's fine. I may as well do this to get as much damage off as I can. Oh, I got caught there. That's fine. Uh 
Oh, I'll take the heal here so that I can guarantee it survive two hits. Eh, she's done. All right, there we go. Not gonna do the ascended or the radiant fight, but we got that. I'm gonna try this radiant fight twice. If I can get it, I get it. If I can't, oh well. Um, I think it's basically just a rhythm game. Once I get him locked into the stagger, but if I screw up my timing even once, I'm dead. Here we go. I beat the rhythm game. <laughs> a shame I had so much trouble doing that in the previous video. Or, oh, it was a while ago, but still. Um, just could not beat the uh, Radiant fight at all. Ooh, Mantis 2. I can definitely beat Mantis 1 on Radiant. Mantis 2, maybe not. But I think I can no, guys, no damage these guys. I just have to be a little bit more careful than I usually tend to be. I really like this fight because it's 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 pretty basic, all things considered, but it it, it it helps you practice pretty much everything you need to be good at. It gives you a chance to practice pogos, and walking into your opponent, dodging projectiles, finding the right time to heal, although in this I guess I really don't have a reason to heal. Alright, we'll try one more time. I, I, nah, I, I think we're going to do this one to completion because I can do it. I just have to be careful not to get too close. I have Mark of Pride, I should use it effectively. Oh, almost took the hit there. Yeah, I think for that I'll just focus on uh, getting the Slash rather than the Pogo. I could have absolutely abyss streak. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see a little smoke cloud appear on the ground before they land. Uh, see, they're. Yep. Okay, so I can predict when they're gonna do that attack now. Nope. Whew, saved that barely. That's a Nikki pattern. Get some good hits there. So, yeah, if I watch the dust clouds. I can see when they're going to land on the ground, rather than pounce. It's interesting that they give you that visual tell so, uh, so cleanly. I'm going to use that defensively. So this one's going to come from the air. That's one. Whoa, that was close. Cool, alright. Nah, that was a pretty clean fight, I'd say. That went really well. Good fight. Alright. Let us do their next form. The Sisters of War, I think they were called? So we start off with the traditional Mantis Lord fight. I'm gonna conserve my soul for using Desolate Dive offensively. take things slow, we have... Actually, wait, I'm not playing... I'm not doing the Radiant Fight. I don't have to be super slow. Alright, here we go. Sisters of War. Bring it on. The strategy for this is basically you need to wait until you can only really get like one or two hits in on each as they do their cycle. And then if you see if you see the other two, you can probably take advantage of them being available. A little too slow on that. Oh, okay. So I think what I need to do is I need to pattern myself uh, in one singular direction so that I can dodge or jump. And then it does seem like I have enough time to uh, jump out of dash if I'm careful. So basically, I just need to kind of go back and forth, left and right. 
and then I can use that both defensively and offensively if I can predict where they're gonna attack from. If I'm on a ledge, I can definitely use it offensively, uh, because they often start out on, a, on an edge. I think once you beat the first one, this fight becomes a lot easier, though. Based on the amount of damage I took, it's not a guarantee that I'll beat the uh, ascend or yeah the ascended fight, but I feel pretty confident that even if I don't get it first try, I can get it pretty soon thereafter. It's nice; their patterns don't actually change that much. It's just that they're faster, and it's all three of them at once instead of two at most. I think I'll avoid pogoing when they do their their straight dash this move. Um, because it kind of puts me high, and if uh, one of the, uh, if they do their downwards dive attack, I'm kind of stuck in a uh, position where it's going to be harder to dodge. But yeah, I think as long as I kind of walk back and forth, I should be fine. And only when there are only when there are three of them, focus on just getting one hit at a time. Okay, I have to be careful because they don't leave immediately. My base strategy isn't working quite as well as I'd hoped, but I think we will make progress. There's some free damage. I, I actually kind of just froze there and didn't know what to do. But that was my fault, not... <laughs> that wasn't a difficult pattern. I just, for some reason, couldn't process what to do. I, what I should have done was dash and then jump over them. But I, uh... I, I guess I just froze for some reason. All right. I really don't use my nail arts very much at all, do I? <laughs> I held that for so long and barely used it. Okay, we're gonna stick to... Face tanking attacks, apparently. At least I'll be able to heal before the uh, three fight, the three start fighting at once. And if she does any projectile attacks before I beat her, nope. All right, well we'll take the two heal, the three heals here. All I really need to do is just use desolate dive a little bit more offensively or defensively. Just spam. Use def I'm not going to be able to heal until I kill at least one of them, so I may as well use my defensive abilities where possible. I wanted to use that defensively because I was afraid I was going to get caught. Alright, so they, when you pogo, they, they, their, their dive is at a set distance above you, so they can't actually, they won't, I'm not at risk for pogoing if I choose to. That's good to know. I think I hit all three of them with that, which feels kind of cool. I think I've got their rhythm down now. Desolate diving because that was a little sketchy. That was a little uh, silly of me to get hit by that. All right, I think I'm probably going to be killing one shortly. Wasn't sure what they were going to do next, so I wanted to play it safe and so I dived. All right, got hit there, but I think I'm still doing pretty solid. There must be a kill coming up. Oops, okay. I think the kill is me in a second. Yeah, I shouldn't have hit her. Hitting her pushed me back into the other one. I didn't have my dive. Uh, I didn't have my invulnerability dash up, so uh, the damage on me was inevitable. But I really like this fight. I really like Sisters of War. This is a fun fight. Because again, it's not. It's not mechanically difficult. It's just you have to be careful what you choose to do at a given time. And you do have to be more conservative than usual. I guess I have to be more conservative than usual. If we're talking about you, you're always pretty conservative when it comes to uh, how how, mu how many attacks you're going to do at a time. You are definitely the slow and steady wins the race sort of fighting style. Alright. Only took two hits that time. Here we go. I'm 
I'm just gonna focus on dodging whenever that comes out. Oops. That was a, uh... Miscalculation. I've gotten better at paying attention to when Shadow Sh Shade Cloak is up, which has made me a bit better at not taking unnecessary damage, but not... I definitely don't run into people with Shade Cloak nearly as often, or without Shade Cloak more specifically. Right, I'm in an iffy spot, so I'm going to just reset with Sh Soul Dive. Dodge that barely. Okay. Yeah, you really don't have time to heal, so... Basically practicing for the no damage challenge to begin with. Alright. I saw a modded version of this fight that has five of them, I think. Plus a bunch of environmental hazards. Ooh, that was just unlucky positioning for me. I'm gonna do this, because I anticipate needing to reposition. Oh my goodness, it's one thing after another. Their pace really speeds up once you get them low enough. Whoop! For me, the issue is if they do their charge attacks from both sides while I'm dodging something else. I seem to have a, the hardest time processing to how to dodge that. But now that there's only two left, this fight is basically over. There we go. Maybe I'll try, like, two attempts at Radiant. Yeah, I'll do two attempts at Radiant. We'll see what we get out of it. I don't have high expectations, but it would be cool if I pulled it off. Alright, one attempt. Let's do it. It definitely feels doable for me. This, this, this boss, once you get into their flow, it's not a terrible fight. This first part of the fight is really just a matter of saving up as much soul as you can. I do wonder if switching over to a spell-based build would work better here, because I could just Desolate Dive all the time and get a ton of damage from that. Well, not the part of the fight I expected to lose on, but pretty typical for me jumping face-first in projectiles. It's the, projectile, the projectile can't hit me if I hit it first. Maybe the mentality, which is clearly flawed. But it's fine. I'm choosing to be a little less careful in this early fight just because I can. And then we'll pull it back and play a little safer in the real fight. Okay. Here we go. Let's see how well this goes. I'm only, I think I'll only do this one attempt and then we'll move along to another boss. Here we go. Wish me luck, Kiwi. Nope. Whoa! Uh, they caught- they pincered me. I had to dodge to the right to avoid that. Or pogo downwards rather than to the left. Alright. These are the oblobals. I'll only- I'm, I think I'm only gonna do Ascended on these. These guys would probably get absolutely wrecked by Abyss Streak, though, because they hover above you for so much, for much of the fight. But I, I don't feel like doing this fight on, uh, Radiant for reasons that I'm sure you can sympathize with. But we can definitely do this and get a whole lot of damage off. Reasonably confident that I could do that on Ascended with much the same ease, but maybe the uh, we don't know what they do differently in Ascended because it seems like every most Ascended fights get at least some sort of gimmick that makes them a little bit more difficult. I don't know what these guys do differently, but nothing too crazy yet. It feels like the room might be a little bit bigger, the ceiling at least. Oops, flew right into that one. Let's get as much damage off on them as I can here. Well, I know they'll have more HP at the very least. Right. Taking a few too many hits, but not still not terrible. Okay, there's that one. Okay, not how I expected that to go. I think I'm at a safe angle, so I'm just gonna take two heal. Oh, I can only get one heal. Alright, whoop. 
dodge that, thankfully. Alright, back off and heal here. Alright, I should be fine now. Almost dash into that one. Dash into that one, though. Alright, it must be almost dead, so just focus on dodging for now. I guess I could heal, but that's kind of lame. Whoop! Yeah, I chose not to heal, I chose to win instead. I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not going to do this on Radiant, though. I don't feel like having my brain uh, dodge. Now, this boss in particular is kind of funny for me, because I seem very prone to taking far too much damage on it. At least if we're going based on the, the third Pantheon and how many times I got hit by it. But I think I figured it out. I wonder if I can treat him similar to the Crystal Guardian, honestly. I think I can. If I just see him move, I dodge. Some free damage here. I'm gonna do that for defense. Okay. Yeah. Well, I no damaged him. I wonder what his Ascended form will do, if anything different. be a little smaller, and I don't think you can go with high. Oh, he starts with that. Okay. I wonder if he just consistently spams this now. It's not actually that difficult to dodge, though. Alright. That may be a little spooky. We're good. I panicked, but we're fine, because I don't actually get hit by that. I get hit by all that, though. I still think he can probably be no damage with a minimal issue. I just have to be a little bit more safe about these guys. I don't really need to heal here, but I'm going to do it just to play it safe. Alright, thanks for all the free damage. I wonder if you lose here, does it count as a lost attempt? <laughs> Let's not find out. I'll inevitably find out in the Radiant Challenge. Let's do, like, three attempts at Radiant, see if we can get it. I feel like I can. Especially if he's going to give me so much free damage at the start. Yeah. This speeds the fight down immensely because it gives me a bunch of defense with Desolate Dive Soul, with enough soul for Desolate Dive. Whoop! Oh, oh that's free damage. I think these bulls, these bees also help me generate soul. Ooh, that was spooky. I almost, I almost went high enough with Desolate Dive to uh, get hit by that spike ball. Whoop! Ah, I should have dashed to the left. That felt convincing. I'm pretty sure I can beat this guy. It's funny how some of the bosses that gave me the most tr trouble when I started out are really just... Not actually that terrifying. I was just kind of bad. Right. Focus on dodging for now. Should be... Whoop! Okay. Not a fan of this, but I think I'm at a good angle. Okay. There we go. Okay, free damage here. Let's go. Smack, smack. Got a desolate dive for the iframes. Got a desolate dive again, because I seem to have trouble with projectiles. Free damage, get as much as I can. Alright, made it out of there safely. Desolate diving for iframes, although I really didn't need to. He should be just about dead. Oh, uh, okay. Gonna focus on survival here. I probably. There is a palm on my face. I, uh, oof. could have dashed, could have done anything. Honestly, he was probably like one or two hits from death. I just backed off when I should have been staying. I should have stayed aggressive there, is really what I'm trying to say. Oh, wasn't expecting you to do this, my friend. <laughs> I was kind of stuck. What I should have done was do a jump and then wall dash. Like, cling onto the wall and then dash off of it. Because I would have had Shade Cloak and I would have been fine. Um... My processing is clearly running a little slow today, given how things have gone in other fights, but it's fine. Just get as much damage here, and then use this. I like that the little, uh... The, if you listen to the instrumentation, uh, instrumentation, there's definitely... What is it? Flight of the Bees? Flight of, is it Flight of the Concord? Whatever, the song that's traditionally associated with, like, a, a swarm of bees. There's definitely... You can definitely hear it in... I actually am not even sure what instrument it is, because I'm too focused on the fight to pay attention to instrumentate. I did not see that bee. 
to instrumentation, but, um, alright. I am, based on how that first attempt went, even though the subsequent ones have been pretty badly flubbed, I'm pretty confident I can get this. And the nature of these games is you only need to get it once for it to matter. Ah. I think it's a flute in the background that's playing Flight of the Concords, and again, forgive me if that's the wrong name of the, mo of the song, uh, I'm not well cultured, unfortunately. And that especially applies to the names of classical music. Or the names of most things in general, honestly. I I am not good at remembering names. Alright. I'm gonna do this again for safety. And now I need to save up some soul. Alright. They generally come down from the angle that they were spawned by, so I should be good now. Whoop! Ah. Uh, I didn't have my da I don't think I had my dash up there, and I panicked and used soul dive. I may have had my dash up. In fact, I probably did, but I chose to soul dive instead. And I, it comes out too slow for me to have dodged that quickly. There it is. That's the little bit right there. It's definitely a reference to that song. Pardon me. Uh, all right, we'll give this like three more attempts. But I, I do. I definitely can come back and beat this. If I can't beat this now, I'll definitely beat it in the future. I'm. Very confident in that fact. It is an inevitability. As is me dying in the most pathetic and embarrassing way as well having self-confidence. Rule of thumb for Jeff is if he has self-confidence, it's basically a death flag. <laughs> My death flag isn't, I love you, I, I, I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together. My death flag is, I know we'll be together for the rest of <laughs> I, I don't know, it's, it's any time I have any form of confidence. I'm gonna soul dive here just so that I have space to deal with these bees. I should be fine just sitting here. Okay, get some good damage here. Soul diving for safety. <laughs> oh no, that's a funny sound effect. All right, we'll do it one more time. I, I was safe, and I jumped. Okay. My brain is clearly not processing projectiles well. Alright, I'm not feeling lost kin today. Nosk, I'm definitely not feeling. This guy I can probably handle well, alright? Let's do him. We'll get at least the two first phases of him done. I'm feeling a little more iffy about the, uh, the Radiant fight. But we'll see. I don't enjoy that his music is so, like, dissonant. I mean, if you kill all the things he spawns in one hit, there's really not much he can do to you. The boss himself really is not threatening if you just walk back and forth with him. Alright, so no damage on the first try. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see how his ascended fight changes. If any, if I had to guess, he probably his spawns probably don't die in one hit. If they make that happen, then this is a lot more difficult. If they still die in one hit because I have so much uh, damage on my nail right now, then I don't think the boss fight will change terribly that much at all. All right, still dying in one hit, so yeah, I think we're fine. I think we can get all three of these. We'll see. Well, it would help if I didn't like walk directly under him when he lands. You know. They come out faster, I will say that. What would make his spawns more difficult is if they, uh... Is if he keeps spreading them out like this. Because then I have to travel further to kill them. Which gives me less chance to hit him when he falls down. He should be just about dead. He seems more inclined to fall on me as well. He definitely has more HP, but... Alright. I still feel like I can no damage him, but... Maybe a little bit more iffy if he keeps... Again, if he if he keeps spreading out his minions, and then also I keep diving while like, walking where he lands. We'll do... We'll do three attempts as well on this and see where we get. <laughs> so 
so far so good, I think. Alright, that's our should be pretty close now. There we go. Radiant on the first try. Not bad. He's probably a lot more difficult to, with in the pantheons where you have your nail sealed. Because if you can't kill his minions in one hit, that becomes a pretty huge problem. Pretty quickly, I imagine. Um, God Tamer. Let's go ahead. I think after God Tamer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Radiant Zote, and then I'll do a couple attempts at uh, Nightmare King Grim and the Pure Vessel on Ascended Difficulty to practice for the Champion of Hollow Knight. Or Hollow Nest, rather. I request some personal space, my Mr. Bug. Nope. Barely dodged that. Nice. Alright. Clean fight. No damage, too, I think. Makes me think it's possible, although there were a lot of close calls to getting hit there, but... Eh, maybe I'll give the Radiant fight an attempt. I'm very prone to getting hit to that uh, by that very first move of hers. But I figured out that the strategy is basically deal with this bug first. His attacks are slow, and it's mostly the projectile you have to be a little bit careful about. But he telegraphs it so clearly that you can usually get out of it. damage. Let's get some soul attacks off because I can do that. Eh. It's funny, I've gotten hit by her attack more than anything else. Really, she hit me and out of desolate dive. Unfortunate. Must be almost dead though. There we go. Alright, and now I just have to survive until she realizes her pet is dead and we win. Feels kind of sad to kill someone's mount and leave them alive. Oh well. Do I want to try Radiant on this? Eh, we'll try it once, but then I'm going to commit the rest of my time to feeding Zoat. You saw nothing. We didn't do the Radiant Challenge, we just went straight into Zote. Alright. The all-title Zote. But actually, if he had all his titles for a change... i use that defensively. Alright. Uh, okay, we're okay. I'm in a really iffy spot, so I'm gonna try and reposition, we're fine. Alright, let's get some hits off. He's really spamming this a lot more than I would have expected. Okay, we're fine. Desolate dive here. Just smack him a bunch. Oh, I... I just... That jump was a ma uh, mistake. But that was looking fairly convincing. And we've definitely proven that I can no damage so pretty consistently. So, we'll just try again. We'll go until... We'll do like five minutes of Meridian, so if I can't beat him before then, then we'll move on to someone else. all his minions. Awesome. It's good that I don't need uh, Shaman Stone to be able to beat these guys. They'd be a bit of a problem if you didn't one-shot them. Or two-shot. I guess it is a two-shot, actually. One-shot them with Desolate Dive, specifically. Ah, he jumped into me. Unfortunate. I was about to use Desol Desolate Dive because I wanted to take out the, the flying minion. But he caught me before I could pull it off. No, 
you can hear me just mashing so I can quick slash him as quick as, uh, as much as possible. Alright. One, desolate dive. Smack, smack. The lack of range up that we get from Shaman Stone is definitely sorely missed here, but it's fine. Still handles his, mis his minions just as well. Oh, he did the... I forgot that until he starts moving forward, he doesn't have kind of the ice physics where he has to travel a little bit in one direction before he can turn around. Uh, if he does his, if he does that attack, and you're on, if you switch sides behind him, like dash behind him, before he starts using it, he'll just immediately turn around. So, unfortunately, there is a pretty solid punish if you're a little too aggressive with your dodge. It's fine though. That time was close, but it was. Oh, I went for the pogo and he fell, so my my pogo didn't get off. Yeah. What I learned with that pattern is that, um, for the pogo, you have to get the pogo and desolate dive, pogo, desolate dive combo very quickly, and if you can't get it within, like, the first half a second of that move, then you should probably just choose to, uh, only take one hit. Oh, dear. That, uh, I'm surprised that bouncing minion didn't hit me there. I'm in a really bad spot. Thankfully, I got out of jail. I used my get out of jail free card. With Desolate Dive. Oh! That one was me just trying to swing at his, his bouncing minion and uh, missing the jump because of it. And I didn't even hit the minion, which is the sadder part. If I had hit the minion, I would have gotten sprung downwards and definitely hit in the wave anyway, so all around just need to prioritize dodging, dealing with the minions, and then killing Zote. But I have to dodge first and foremost. Dodging is priority. Okay, good. He, I was worried he was going to bounce the wrong way, and by that, I mean, by that I mean the way that would have killed me. Right, some good damage here. Uh, they all dodged. Oh, I didn't see it. It was under the explosion. Ah, oh, man. I wouldn't say I'm tech. I, I wouldn't say I'm rusty at Zode. I'm just having a lot of bad, singular moments that cost me the win, and that's the nature of these radiant fights, especially against the harder bosses. Um, but this is a matter of time. If it doesn't happen today, I, uh, I fell for the same trap. When I see him do that, I either need to dash away or I need to jump immediately, but I can't dash behind him, or I will just immediately be punished. Um, but with these harder boss fights, it really is a matter of, it's a simple matter of the Radiant Challenge is going to be challenging. I mean, anything that can touch you and you explode is going to make this game a lot more difficult. Alright. I need soul if I'm going to destroy that minion. Can I? Oh dear, I do too much damage. I'm doing this for safety. Alright, we got that minion at least. Alright, this is an unideal situation, but... Oh, that minion didn't die. I'm lucky I had the iframes and was able to react fast enough because I almost didn't. Alright, I need to kill this. Okay, we're, we're good now. Free damage. I'm going to back off because I don't want to deal with the explosions. Alright. this damage off, kill the minion. I almost dashed into that shockwave and probably would have died because of it. Some good damage here. Alright, I'm in a bad spot. Ugh, yeah. The second dash was the mistake. If I, You can only afford one dash and then you have to jump. The The solution there was a desolate dive immediately after the first dash. Um, but his, I just it was the perfect pattern to really trap me into getting hit. Alright, well, I can analyze this all I want, but it doesn't get me the win. It only makes me aware of why I lost. Ooh, that was a little sketchy. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, that was just bad. Alright, we'll try one more time, and then I'll take some attempts at the Pure Vessel and then the Nightmare King Grim. We'll give each of these guys an honorable five minutes of attempts. <laughs> and then we'll end the episode with or without victories. Although I might choose to take on one last boss just so I get some sort of win. But I'm running out of easy ones to just do the Radiant Challenges on. I am... Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to take a break from the boat. I am, uh, botching the fight pretty badly. Alright, well. We will be back, so I promise you that. Alright, Nightmare King Grim. Let's do this. Let's just practice on a tune for now. Because that's what I really need to be ready for. Alright, 
here's where I get my free damage in. Oh, okay. I need to be careful with uh, Mark of Pride. If I'm too... Oh, right, okay, so the trick is a short hop a d and then a dash. Okay, I'll have to remember that. That was unnecessary damage right here. Oh, eh. I'm gonna take the heal here. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get punished for that. Eh, I didn't have my vulnerability. Alright, cool. We'll heal here, because I really need to or I'll die in one hit. Alright, and now we just focus on dodging. Gotta love that creepy carousel music. There we go, okay. I just have to fight my better urges of staying high for that move to dodge it. I, I positioned inappropriately for that. And my recovery attempt was uh, poor. Alright, we definitely don't have Nightmare, Grim, Nightmare King Grim down perfectly. But I'm reasonably confident we can beat the attuned version with a little bit of practice. We've already beaten him once, I know. I mean, that's why we are where we are at this point. Alright, try again. Just have to take it slow and read his moves. Alright, so this is when I go on the offensive. Just have to hold out for his batty attacks. His bat and his uh and this move are where I can really hit him. Okay, we'll heal up two here. Not so bad so far. Almost jumped into that fireball though. I'm pretty consistent about dodging this pattern at least. And I can get shadow. I can use uh, sh uh what is it? Sharp shadow to deal some damage there. That was unnecessary damage all around. Taking the heal here, which might be a little bit greedy, but we got him. We didn't go punished for it. Cool. Okay, cool. We got the set work. This means he's probably at about half health, I would assume. I know he needs to become batty at least one more time before I can kill him. Ah, oh, he got me with that one. Cool, alright. So he must be pretty close to death. I'm gonna go for a third heal here. I am so lucky he didn't punish me for that, but I'm very happy that he didn't. That was some really good damage. Oh, okay, yeah, so he's gotta be... I'm gonna assume he does this at a quarter health the, uh, each time he takes about a quarter of his health, which means this should be the very end of the fight. Oh, he faked me out. I'm just gonna wail on him, because he must be almost dead. Just kidding. Well, this is bad. I got greedy kiwi. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Alright, back. Easy pattern to dodge. Oh, wow. Okay. So he has to stagger three times. Good to know. Taking the third heal because I'm greedy. Again, lucky I wasn't punished, but hey. Alright. Nightmare King Grim on our second attempt. Not bad. Definitely not a clean fight. Alright, let's do a couple of tuned attempts and then we'll do the same thing with a pure vessel. Alright. Or, sorry, it's, I, I, I can't keep him straight between a tuned ascended and, and uh, radiant. Alright, so... What this form effectively does is it will kill me in three hits. So I need to dodge as best as I can. Take what heals I can, but don't expect much. And then again, we're really just gonna prioritize damaging him when he does this move. And when he um, does his bats. Those are where I can consistently dodge. Well timed Sharp Shadow does seem to afford me an ability to hit him with most of his patterns. Ah, too short. I'm gonna take the heal here. Oop. Okay, cool. Nice. Alright. And that lets us top off. Ah, just shy. Just ever so slightly shy of enough soul. Got the pogo that time at least. Alright, free damage here. Yeah. That was a mistake. We're fine though. Oh, right, right, three hits. Forgot. I thought I was safe. All right, I need to be careful about being too aggressive against him. All right, we'll do like two or three more attempts and then we'll do a couple of Send of Pure Vessels. 
I'm satisfied alone on the fact that we beat the, the Attuned on our second try, which means it's not a guaranteed win, but it feels like my odds are better when it comes to uh, the Pantheon of Hollow Oh, I panicked. I, I shouldn't heal here. Oh, okay. I could have healed there. It's fine. Okay. Bats are easy to deal with. Two good hits. I got a shape. Oh, cool. Right. We're going to get three heals here. Just shy of getting a hit there. We're fine, though. Okay. Here's some free hits for us. Cool. I'm going to just use my dash for safety there. Oh. Right, I can take a heal here. some really good damage right there. All right, so I don't think he's done this yet, so he's a quarter dead. Well, let's assume he's a quarter dead. I got unlucky. Oh, man. What a... <laughs> I should not have tried to heal during that. I, w I was rolling for RNG at best on that, and I should have had better expectations. Whatever. That felt pretty good. I, I, I think if I don't make dumb mistakes like that, I think I can pretty consistently beat him. I just need a little more practice. And I want to do the same for the Pure Vessel. Let's see if we can get this win. This one I'll probably go with again for about five minutes, and then we'll take what we win, or we take what we lose. But it's all for getting better, you know? And I've learned that probably the best way to deal with that is just to not get hit by it. <laughs> wow, who would have thought? What a legendary, lo legendary strategy. But the way I don't get hit is by using Desolate Dive for safety. I was a little slow on that, but I'm lucky I didn't get punished. Alright, that seems to be a pretty consistent strategy for not getting hit there. Oh, I'm lucky that didn't hit me. That went right, that went right between my horns, honestly. Oh, take the heal here. Ah, I got too greedy for that heal. Can I... I can't get a second one, unfortunate. Okay, I, my brain and projectiles is just like, hit the projectiles, hit the projectiles, aim for the face, get your face in the projectile, now! I don't know why I'm so desperately running into projectiles, but that seems to be what I'm having the most trouble with this, uh, this playthrough. Don't know what to tell you. But that felt pretty good until it went really, really bad, which is usually how it goes for me with these fights, isn't it? Alright. Well, let's see what we can get. Whoop! Okay, safe. Got him in a good corner for damage. Whoop! Okay, we're good. Ah, I was slow. Still desolate diving for the iframes there. Alright, we'll take the two heals here. Oh, right, I can only heal twice. I can only heal once against you, I forgot. Except here, where I might be safe, and I'm lucky. I still die in one hit here, so I have to be extra careful. And I don't have soul. Right. Should be good. Healing here. Ah, uh, I got unlucky. But at least I'm not dead. Getting the hits while I can there. Ah. Uh, I messed up. I definitely should have healed there. Not that it would have saved me, actually. I only had... I had one heart from... I might have had, like, two... I don't know how many hearts I had, but I don't think I would have healed enough to survive a, uh, a, a single hit from him, so... It definitely feels like I can beat the Attune version of him, though. I just immediately desolate dive on that at this point. Me and my love of face tanking projectiles, though. Unfortunately, using d d Desolate Dive defensively does put me at risk of not being able to heal when I can. Alright. Maybe I should just focus on practicing the no-hit run at this point. And the trick is to run into projectiles, once again. <laughs> yeah. I just seem very prone for it, unfortunately. Oh well. We'll do one more attempt and then we'll probably let this end. Maybe I'll just do one other boss for funsies. 
Although at this point, Nightmare King, Grim, and Pure Vessel are probably the funnest bosses for me. I like their challenge, but they feel they feel fair to me still. Did you see that? Did you see that short hop? I went. I just tried to run into the projectile. I definitely did. Right, that's good. Oh, I'm surprised that hit me. It sh I shouldn't have let that hit me. Uh, I didn't have my dive up. Or my, my dodge up. Alright. Alright then. This will be our last attempt and then I'll probably just take a break. But I had fun. I, I really like these boss challenges. Some bosses are more fun than others. Uh, any boss that forces you to wait is one of the worst bosses in the game to me. I hate um, uh, uh, Umu. I hate Markoth. They're just boring bosses because you're just stuck waiting. The uh, I forget what they're called, but the ones that you fight after the the, the Grez Mother, the two little screecher creatures. Oh, okay, didn't see that coming. Well, okay, yeah. I think that's it for now. My brain just does not want to process projectiles. Here, here's what we'll do. We'll get one win on Sly in the attuned form. I think I can do that at the very least. We'll end on a win. Have a good fight, my master. Alright. One, two, slash. Whoop. Whack. Alright. Dodge through that. Oh, right. I'm saying one, two, spin, but I'm not reacting like I, he, he does that at all. Probably could have healed after that, honestly. Ah, not enough space, not enough way to dodge that. Oh dear. Oop. Maybe I should learn how to beat him by parrying. That might be cool. <laughs> Probably get the third heal here, yeah. And spin. I'm lucky that didn't hit me, honestly, because... Oops. That comes out so fast, man. Alright, we're fine. Full HP on his final phase? Yeah, we're fine. Right, so he pretends to be very bouncy, and then I dodge, and then I smack. Alright, I'm gonna just stick to normal slashes. I'm not good at the nail arts. If you get close to him, it baits out the, the attack a little bit faster. Because he it's basically he as soon as he gets near you, within a if he jumps and you're within a certain AoE range of him, that's when he'll spin. So I just have to predict that. Easy. Good match. Alright, Kiwi. I think that's gonna be all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching if you're awake, and if you're sleeping, I hope you're sleeping well. I love you and I will see you in the next one.